Hi, everybody. So we're continuing work on the fairings for the vertical. Damn it. Keep, why not? I don't know why I mix up these two. Vertical, horizontal. This is the horizontal stabilizer. So just like the vertical stabilizer, uh, you know, you match drill and Clico the fairing into place. Uh, you make a cover for it, or well, you cover for the empty slot uh, side, uh, and then make some fiberglass, epoxy it, put in a piece of epoxy on the inside, sand, make sure it looks good, and you're good. But uh, so in this, for this one, we're not going to use fiberglass. No, no. I got really lucky, and I found a nice roll, about a yard and a half, of carbon fiber. And we're going to use that. I mean, sure, look, carbon fiber is strong, fiberglass is strong. Carbon fiber is really, really strong. Uh, the problem with carbon, everyone says it's harder to work with carbon fiber. I don't see it. I actually think it's easier to work with carbon fiber than fiberglass. But then again, you know, I'm just doing small applications. Uh, and it's, it, so it's the same procedure as you do with regular fiberglass. You mix up epoxy, cut your carbon fiber, lay your uh, sheet down, making sure that the threading is uh, uh, square, and then soak it with resin, dabbing it, not brushing it, dabbing it until it's soaked through, add another layer, more resin, etc. And that piece of metal that I'm actually making it on, my, my aluminum, uh, it's actually bent on both sides, and I made that bend based on the sanding that I did for the two fairings. Because each side, you have to, like I said, you have to have a little curve to it. Well, you need to make sure that your, you know, composite materials curve to match it, so that you're not putting stress on the on the original piece. Now, one thing about carbon fiber, uh, if you want to use it, that's great. Uh, the only problem with it is it is conductive. Uh, it conducts electricity uh, very well, shockingly, uh, for its for the material that it is. And so any piece that basically touches uh, aluminum, uh, you will get galvanic corrosion there. It, it will basically, it'll be a battery. You'll have two conductive surfaces um, where moisture or water could get, you know, you're going to get corrosion. So what I did instead was made sure that after I put the layers in, which you'll see in a little bit, that I sanded it back so that there was no threat of it actually touching aluminum. And uh, dabbled a little bit of extra uh, epoxy on that end. Just to make sure that if there is ever any contact, it's epoxy, oh, sorry, epoxy and not carbon fiber. Uh, so here you see me screwing up the other fairing by sanding it too much. I told you that I had screwed one up. Yep, well, that's the one. I screwed it up hard, so I had to buy another one from Vans. Just a little, you know, you want an educational moment? Don't take material off. What had happened was, when I had sanded it originally to go around the curve of the uh, fairing for the uh, front of the elevator, uh, it looked good, and it did, and it matched, you know, but there was a little wavy. It was a little wavy, so when I went to put the carbon fiber piece onto it, there were... Uh, it wasn't a smooth attach point all the way across. There were some ridges and stuff. I didn't like that. So I went to just sand that even. And by the time I was done, I had taken off way too much. And when you put the elevator on, it just looked awful. So. Again, lessons learned. And these fairing tips ain't cheap. So... <laughs> And it's the same procedure that you did with the vertical stabilizer. You know, you, you make the piece, you cut it rough, you uh, apply epoxy around the edge, tape it down. The next day, hopefully, it's bonded, and when you take it, uh, the Clecos out, it doesn't just snap into two pieces. Now I'm just sanding it smooth. Uh, I think I'd already put in the other layer. So also, again, you put another layer... You cut a, uh, another piece of carbon fiber, this is just like fiberglass, soak it with epoxy, then you put it on the inside of that fairing, and you use it to secure the fairing and your original cover piece. Because once it bonds with both, that's never coming out. So yeah, I almost pulled it off. Um, 
The only thing I have to do is I have to redo the other fairing. So, yeah, it sucks. Ordered it from Vans. It should actually be here tomorrow. Um... Mm, yeah, so I, th I think I'll, I'll probably get it done this weekend. I'm going to see if I can anyway. Uh, so I'll record all of that. After that, uh, so like I said in a, a few videos ago, I've got the... I have the fuselage on order. I am very excited. I've gotten mixed reviews. They're like, oh, this is... It's not that bad. And some people said, take you years. I'm like, I, I don't want it to take years. I don't think it's going to take years. Uh, so anyway, yep, in the next video, we'll uh, finally just, uh, you'll be seeing me doing the other fairing, and then we will be quasi-done with all the fairings. No, actually, no, we won't, because we have to epoxy on the washers. Oh, I forgot them. All right, well, I'll see you soon.